So Nikon is a company run by kittens. Kittens that were vaccinated way too many times and they don't have creative ideas anymore. They just, they're going through the motions. So today we talk a little bit about Nikon and their future. The Z5, what's that gonna be like? The new lenses that all suck on paper. Let's talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Oh, little Fuji. You're so beautiful. You track me so well. Let's pay attention to see if it freaks. We have some Philip Bloom settings, finally. I realized, I'll be honest with you, I never thought in a million years you would set the responsiveness to zero. There's quick and then locked on. And I've had it on locked on this whole time or default in the middle. Because you would think, lock on my face and don't run. Things coming in front of you, you don't want that. You don't want this. You don't want this for a vlog. So I was like, all right, locked on. But then Philip Bloom, he's actually testing things. Thank you so much. So we're at zero now. Quick, it is quick. Glasses of water. Oh God, why did I do it? It's clear, why would it focus on anything but it's detecting an eye right there. <laughs> why? <laughs> what about the old Van Gogh? Does Fuji see spirits? Is he alive? So Nikon. It's the one camera company I've never had in here to fully test. I've only tested it in the shop at Henry's. And so, like, it looked pretty good. It was over sharpened, very digitally like. But it looked good. The stabilization was jerky and freaky, but it was total user error on my part. I had it for six minutes. Be real. <laughs> so, but the Nikon colors struck me immediately. I was like, oh my god. And whenever I see photo comparisons, Canon versus Nikon, I'm always leaning towards that Nikon. There's something magical about them. And of course that means they're gonna be the next company to go out of business. What the hell, the Olympus Joy Maker? Best camera I've ever seen. Did Fuji Focus pull to it? Sees an eye there. <laughs> Why are you seeing, how is that a face? It's not a human boy, I'm the human boy. The Olympus is the best colors hands down. We should, I might even switch to it later. I'll consider it, I probably won't. So they make the best camera ever for vlogs and they go out of business. Nikon, probably the same thing. Best colors ever, reliable autofocus. I wanna test it so bad to see. I know it's Canon and Sony up there leading the autofocus industry. And then I think maybe Nikon is next. I don't know where Fuji, Nikon, Panasonic lie. Sometimes my Panasonic beats this Fuji. That don't make no sense. So I really want to test the Nikon to see a Z6 with the 20 mil f1.8. Tony. It's funny, the guy who bought this Fuji for me, he had a Nikon at one point. He was testing it out and he's like, eh, I don't really like it. I'm gonna send it back. And he was kind of like hinting like, oh, I'll return it unless you want it. <laughs> Uh, I was imagining that probably, and I was thinking probably like, uh, you could send it over, I'll, I'll try it. <laughs> but I didn't ask, and then he did return it, so we get nothing. All I got was a S1, and a bunch of lenses, and a Fuji, and an Olympus, and a stupid Panasonic piece of bullshit. So this Nikon Z5, judging by the pictures, there's no flippy screen. Immediately you piss me off. When are camera companies gonna realize that some people make videos from in front of the camera and we need to see ourselves so this flip up tilt thing ain't happening. So somebody's gonna get this Z5 in for review. It's like, okay, I'm gonna film myself with it up. Oh, how? It's gonna be filming the attic for all they know. But this thing's looking like a Canon RP competitor. And I just, I don't under, I do understand it. Here's the deal. Camera companies are terrified of smartphones. Imagine that, you make this camera, it's like, all right, we take pictures, and then you look at your phone takes pictures now? Oh God, are they good? No, they're not good. They're getting better every day? What's that you're using? That whole processor is now dedicated to the camera? You have technology in there that we don't even have? You can mimic low light performance? The, oh my God, I get the fear, I'm with you. I'm afraid of a lot of things, mice, insects, I literally asked my girlfriend the other day if she could get an earwig out of the apartment for me. The man asked the woman 
Hun, you want to take care of this? I wanted to give her karma points. And I was terrified. It moved. That ain't right. Point is, these camera companies see the smartphone, and they're pretty cheap. They're not cheap. <laughs> I'm still using my Samsung S4. I have no idea how much phones cost, but I'm imagining they're like 700 to 1100. I forget, I bought the iPhone 11 Pro. It was way too much, like 1500 bucks Canadian. So why were my numbers not even in that range? I don't know. The only valid piece of evidence I had, and I didn't even use it. 700 to $1,000, that's how much phones cost. And so companies are like, okay, you're spending that much money. We need to downgrade our professional advantage cameras here, full frame glory. Let's make a cheaper version to compete price wise with that. Even though your cheap budget bullshit, entry level cameras can never compete with a smartphone. They have funky shit, wizard like abilities. And you're gonna try to downgrade your system? Your full frame's in danger. You're gonna try to entry level that budget shit? Prime example, the morons over at Panasonic creating the G100, dumbed down in every way worse than the G85 that could for vlogging? I'm so irritated by that camera that I'm considering selling the S1 just to be out of that system. Best stabilization I've ever seen, G9. I don't even want to be associated with these criminals. So in my opinion, camera companies to stay in business in today's age where smartphones are doing 90% of what you can do, you have to focus on the high end, the professional users that care like me, YouTubers. We care about the natural look that you can get from a camera like this. When I tested the Samsung Note 10 Plus and the iPhone, I was like, what is that? Like, what a joke. Flickering clouds and just fake skin, weird saturated colors. It's like, I want the natural beauty of this earth to be realized by our hearts. So this Nikon, it's like, what are you offering? A non-flippy screen with only a million dots. That's bullshit. We got 1.6 here and that ain't enough. 2.7 is the glory in the X-T200, which I may still have in my possession somewhere. Henry's, you have seven minutes to leave a comment below this video. And if you say you want it back, I'll give it back. But if you don't, it's mine forever. Along with the lenses that I don't have, I bought them, actually. I don't know what you're talking about. Why does this segment even exist? It doesn't. 1.7 times crop in 4K? That's a cannon move. That's a cannon cripple hammer move if I've ever seen one. Oh, hey. It's not even... We're not talking about you. I mentioned you briefly. It's a Nikon show. This has nothing to do with you. Stay out of it. Your cameras are great. You got the R5 coming. The R6. I want one. Get me one. Talk to your executives. I'll buy it. It's good. You have no lenses for the RF mount. They're too big and heavy. Point is, with this release, it's just a dumbed down Z6. I want the better version of the Z6, the Z8 Mark III, which just has the flippy screen, improved IBIS, autofocus exceeding Canon level, something like that. And then you got your good lenses already. I like that they focused on the 1.8 primes. That's so much better than Canon with their stupid 1.2s and the two zooms. That 28 to 70, like all just super heavy, stupid photography shit. So it doesn't feel like there's any advantages to having the Z5 other than it'll be lighter and cheaper, which is kind of nice, but it's not worth losing 4K, no slow-mo. I'm not excited. Stop dumbing down your cameras, companies. Shoot for the top. When it comes to Nikon's lenses, there's three of them on the roadmap. A 24 to 50, 24 to 6.3. Why on earth would that be a thing? If you had made that a 20 to 50, Tony 3.5 to 5.6, and it was lighter than this, you might have something, preferably 18, 2.8 on the wide to 35, four. 
I feel like they're just focusing entirely on size. Like that'll probably be a very light lens for a full frame zoom. Cause oh, we can, you can fit us in your bag next to your smartphone. We're nice and light. Don't worry about us. We don't take up much room. The Nikon Fear Gypsies have poisoned your mind against yourself. The 51.2? What a just hunking piece of Tone shit. Who needs that? Nobody needs that low of an aperture. Tone. 1.8 primes are the future. Maybe two. I'm on a two prime on an APS-C. That's a three. Three Tones. That's not enough. It is though. <laughs> The 14 to 24 2.8. You're speaking to me, but it's not stabilized. You're gonna have the warpy shit with your ibis. It's probably heavy. It's already bullshit. Nikon needs to bring the fire back and make something big like the D850 was. Like that was, that made a splash. That thing's like, whoa, best DSLR so far. There we go, it's already obsolete now. 1DX3, take that. You waited too long? Don't wait in the potter. <laughs> wait in the potter? It's the saying. We'll see though, until I test a Z6 myself, I won't know. I won't know it. Like, oh, the autofocus is so perfect and the stabilization with the wide L, oh, it's so magical. The 1.820, I can't believe they made that. And it's light enough? Maybe. So we'll see until I get my hands on it. I'm just talking shit, admittedly. But seeing this roadmap, not digging it, not a lot of vlogging options, and no flippy screen in sight. So that's bullshit, your whole company's bullshit. If anyone has a Z6 and they wanna trade it for my S1, and you live in Toronto, let me know. The odds aren't great, but I'm down with it. I test it first, vlogging. If it passes the test, we trade. Did the Fuji perform today? Product mode enabled. It's it's focusing the eye, that's a face. Why? Why Fuji? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it, I'm gonna have to cover that up. It's cause there's two black eyes. You only focus on boxers. You Muhammad Ali. Your bias is clear, Fuji. The assassins, they fight. So, I'm gonna leave. What do you think? Z5, dead on arrival? Kind of, until I get my hands on it. The lenses suck. Still, I'll try. Subscribe for more videos on the